In honor of our most recent kimchi episode, we wanted to do a how-to video that took almost no ingredients at all because that's the beauty about fermented vegetables. All you need are vegetables and salt. For this one, we chose carrots. Peel some carrots and then cut them into sticks like this. The length of the carrot will depend on the jar that you're using. You basically want them to fit in the jar with having just a little bit of wiggle room on the top of the jar. Place the carrots in the jar and that's it. You can fit way more carrots than you think you can in that jar and it's actually really important you tightly, tightly pack the carrots. It's basically like a game of Tetris. You need to make sure it's super packed because you want no air to be in that jar because air is the enemy for fermentation. That lack of oxygen is extremely important. And by definition, fermentation is what the cells do when they don't have access to oxygen. In a separate cup, make your brine, which is just salt and water. Make sure to stir until the salt is fully dissolved. Then pour that into the jar with the carrots until the carrots are completely submerged in the salt water. The jar should be mostly, but not completely filled. Then cover the jar lightly, but don't actually fully seal it. Just place the lid on top and let it sit at room temperature for a day. Signs of fermentation are bubbles, as well as a sour taste or even smell. Once you have some indicators that fermentation is occurring, you can then put it in the fridge and let it store for a week or even up to a month. And at any point during this time, you can eat it. It's really up to you of how tangy and acidic you want it to be. So try it over some time and see what you like best. All right, so that is literally the most basic template to start off on. And there are so many different ways to add flavor and layers of complexity here, whether it's adding spices or different types of vegetables, or you can make what originally inspired us, which was kimchi. This Korean side dish, traditionally made with Napa cabbage, has a lot of similarities to this basic fermented vegetable in that you take a vegetable and you use salt and thyme to ferment it. However, there are also a number of differences too, both in the actual process and then the seasonings and flavors you add. We learned a great basic kimchi recipe in our other video and encourage you to explore it there. If you get into the playground of fermented vegetables and try out different things, be sure to let us know and like and subscribe for more videos.